Welcome, fellow travelers. We are fairies here to guide you on your journey through this enchanted land. It is a mystical land filled with wonder and merriment where we are fairies. fairies. We're fairies? Yes, we are ethereal and magical fairies. We prance through the woods, sing to the moon, and... I don't want to be a fairy. Well, you are a fairy. The tale we are here to tell is about a king and a queen. It is the tale of a... As a fairy? Does that mean I can fly? I didn't want to fly. We are flightless fairies. I'm a flightless fairy. So I'm like an ostrich or a penguin? Yes. Okay, beaten fairies, we have to have some superpowers, like incredible strength or the power to read minds are run incredibly fast. We do have the power to tell an enchanted story and sometimes cause a little mischief. <laughs> that is not as cool as super strength. So, are we telling one of these stories? There are a lot of great stories in here. Snow White, Beauty and the Beast, Rapunzel, these stories are awesome. Ooh, how about Jack and the Beanstalk? <laughs> Let's do that one. I love the giant in that story. Beanie, pie, bo, bum, I smell the blood. <clears throat> Someone who's no fun. No, our tale will not be in this book, but this book will be in our tale. No, our tale will not be in this book, but this book will be in our tale. Did you get that line from a fortune cookie? I'm confused. Wait and see, for this story is about to begin. It's about time. We must do our enchanted fairy tale dance and to begin the story. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. No enchanted fairy tale dance. And telling the whole story, that seems like a lot of work. How about we get a narrator? She can tell the story, and we can interject with wit and mischief. Besides, there's some good food backstage. <gasps> well, what kind of food? No, you know, just grapes and crackers and fancy cheeses. <gasps> Do they have free cheese? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is a fabulous idea. We'll get a narrator. With a sprinkle of this magic pixie dust, our story will begin. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there lived a benevolent king and queen. <laughs> I present to you King Barnabas and Queen Mildred. King Barnabas and Queen Mildred were kind, compassionate, and very much in love. There was peace in the kingdom, and they enjoyed their lives together. They especially enjoyed small, quiet pleasures, such as trimming bonsai trees and solving jigsaw puzzles. Your bonsai tree is looking divine, my dear. Thank you, darling. And it looks like you are making fine progress on that jigsaw puzzle. <gasps> I got another puzzle piece in! Nice work! The king and queen ruled with grace and dignity, and their royal subjects adored them. It is a wonderful kingdom. Yes, it is. And it was a wonderful kingdom. However, there was one big problem. Actually, there were four. The king and queen had children, two princes and two princesses. And might I say, they did not live up to their royal titles. Get out of my room. It's not my fault. You did it. I'm telling you, just stop touching my stuff. Oh, you're so obnoxious. 
Sounds like the children are at it again. It sounds like we live in the royal zoo. Hey, that's my hair! Could have fooled me. It looks like a bird's nest. Ever heard of bathing? Hey, don't kick me. <laughs> Look over my nose! Out of desperation and the desire to have a happy family, the king and queen called in another royal therapist. Yes, you heard me correctly. I said another royal therapist. I sure hope this new royal therapist can help. The children have simply been unbearable. Yes, dear. I hope this one is better than the last three. I'm still not sure what happened to the other royal therapists. They never came back after their first sessions. They probably ran to a place far, far away from our four little monsters. Your Majesties, the new royal therapist is here. Oh good, please send her in. I present to you, the royal therapist. Thank you for coming. Your Majesties, I'm here to serve you. What's the problem? How may I help? It's the children. I mean, it's just, they're just so, I, I mean, uh. I'll just send for them. Royal servants, please fetch the uh, children. Yes, your majesties. I will get the royal cattle prod if necessary. What was that? Oh, it's just the children. Oh my. I'm hurrying! Just get off my case already. You don't have to be. So bossy. <laughs> yeah, what's with the whole royal servant, I'm so cool attitude? Oh, I was totally going to take a royal nap, and now you guys are making us do stuff. I present to you the royal children. <laughs> children, this is the new royal therapist. It's a pleasure to meet you all. I look forward to our journey of self-discovery together. Whatever. Please behave for this nice therapist. Now sit, children. Yes, mother. Don't worry. We will behave. Just like we always do. That's what I'm afraid of. What? Oh. They're all yours. Good luck. Yes, my brave soul. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you, but I'm a trained professional. I don't need good luck. Oh. Your Majesties, you must control yourselves. Please stop. Please. Everyone sit down! You sit, 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 and sit! Now, this is my first session with you all, and I would That's like to- That's because I had the last three therapists fed to the royal dragon. And from the looks of you, I think the dragon will be getting a meal pretty quickly. <sighs> Yeah, I'm totally going to tell Dad that you did that. If you do, I'll tell him that you totally took out the royal carriage without asking, crashed it, and then blamed it on the Duke of Beef Wellington. Oh, please stop. Now, since we've just met, I would like to get to know everyone and hopefully not get fed to the royal dragon or any other royal beast. So let's go around and calmly introduce ourselves and say why we aren't happy. <laughs> I am the radiant Princess Cinnamon, and I am unhappy because there isn't anyone worthy of marrying me. Yesterday, two suitors came to woo me. It was more of a boo than a woo. The first one only owned three castles, and two of them were on the west side of the kingdom. What a joke! I'm a 
princess. Do you expect me to only live in three castles? I know at least a dozen other princesses who live in more than four castles, and they're half as beautiful as me. Oh, and the second suitor? I sent him packing when he gave me this measly little diamond. A princess has to have her standards, so I guess I'll just use it as a door stopper or maybe a paperweight. Thank you, Princess Cinnamon. Princess, would you like to go next and follow your sister? Of course I have to go after her. Well, just so you know, I'm Princess Peppermint. My sister, Princess Cinnamon, is always first. And me, the beautifuler, the smarter est, and the best est princess is always second. Cinnamon's such a show off with her hair and her eyelashes and the way she walks and stuff. She's always saying that I'm dumb, but it's not true. It's just that I'm not, uh, I'm smart. So there. It's so in flirter rating. <laughs> Having her for a sister is enough to ruin anyone's happiness. Besides, what kind of a name is Princess Cinnamon anyway? It's better than Princess Peppermint, you goofy babbling candy cane. Well, why don't you just sit your Princess Cinnamon buns down and keep quiet? Okay. Let's just give one of your brothers a turn. How about you? Oh, fine, Prince. I don't introduce myself. Oh. <laughs> I present to you, Prince Hagel! <clears throat> How many times do I have to tell you? It's pronounced Hargel. The I is silent. Hargel. Get it right. I am sorry, sir. I present to you, Prince Hajjal. Yes, I am the dashing and spectacularly handsome Prince Hajjal. My unhappiness is caused by all the jealousy I have to endure because I I'm just so amazingly good looking. Do we really have to like listen to this? I mean, to be a prince and to have a face and a physique. What? That could have been chiseled by an angel. <laughs> well, it can be too much for some people to handle. And I haven't even mentioned my hair. Wow. Are you finished yet? You just don't understand what it's like to be good looking. No, you really don't understand. Why you pomponous ergonite fool? Exactly what language do you speak? The dragon is getting hungry. Okay, let's just all take a deep breath. And let your other brother speak. Oh. Prince Slacker, wake up. <laughs> What time is it? Is it lunchtime already? Uh, I'll just have a Royal Lord's Pizza with uh, everything on it. 
What? I'm hungry. Oh, it's my turn. Uh, being a prince is just way, way, way too much work. Why are you so lazy? It's so embarrassing. Well, at least he's not mean, like you. Who you call mean? Watch the hair, and the nose, and especially the teeth. Why, I oughta? Oops. <laughs> Looks like you tripped and fell on your princess cinnamon buns. You used that joke already! <laughs> well, it's funny. <laughs> no, it's not. <sighs> okay, let's just all take a time out and try to understand what we're all feeling right now. on for hours. There was arguing. It's my hairbrush! No, it's my hair! I had it first! Well, I have it now! There was whining. Why, why, why am I a part of this family? Why are you guys like this? Why are you so mean? And there was fighting. I'm pretty alliance! Alliance! Until eventually, the king and queen came to check on the new royal therapist. Excuse me, uh, royal therapist? We've come to check on your progress. <coughs> oh my! Barnabas, come quickly! What have the children done? children? They're evil! No, they're worse than evil! They're, they're, oh please don't beat me to the royal dragon! No, I would rather be fed to the royal dragon than have to be in the same room with your children again! Ah! Dragon? What was she talking about? Princess Cinnamon. So that's what's happened to the other royal therapists. What are we going to do? I don't know, my dear. I don't know. Over the next few months, the king and queen tried many things to make their children happy. One of their ideas was to marry off their children. Your father and I have arranged for several worthy suitors to come and meet with you. Each one of them has been hand-picked and would make a wonderful spouse. I hope this works. My darling, we shall see. Princess Cinnamon, I present to you the Prince... Who again? Oh, yeah, the Prince of Cranberry, the Duke of Cranberry, my bad. <laughs> Please to meet you, my lady. Yeah, whatever. What are you worth? Uh, <clears throat> my princess, I, I can assure you that I am an extremely wealthy man. You see these bags my good assistant carries? They are full of gold and jewels that I have brought to you as a gift. Not enough! Don't insult me! Get out! Ah! Are you sure you don't want this gold? Take it! Do you have any idea how many stairs are in this castle? It's just that my back is really- GET OUT! Okay, Princess Cinnamon, but surely one of these suitors will meet your needs. There's the Prince of Salisbury Steak. He owns a diamond mine. Not rich enough. How about Baron Von Split P? He's the heir to two kingdoms in the north. Also not rich enough. And I do believe I can smell his breath from here. 
How about him? He's the Earl of Red Snapper. Definitely not rich enough. And rather straight looking. Is that hair on his head? Or do wild beasts climb up there and die? Mother, none of these men are worthy of me. This is hopeless. Prince Hajo, I present to you the lovely Princess Ambrosia. Oh, welcome, Princess. I must say that I do look stunning today. Don't you agree? Yes, I suppose you do. I'm not sure you noticed my outfit. It is hand tailored out of the finest material. Of course, I do have to have all my clothes custom made to fit my incredibly large muscles. I see you brought flowers. I almost forgot. I bought those flowers for myself. <laughs> Don't they really bring out the color of my eyes? I suppose they do. Could you hand me that mirror and comb over there? Pretty please. Excuse me, I need you to move over there. You're blocking my light. I have never been so insulted in all my life. Next. Prince Flacco, I present to you the lovely Don't princess. Don't even bother. I'm almost to the final level of angry peasants on my royal smartphone. What? Game over? <laughs> That's like the third time in the quiz. Really? Yeah. So. One more try. <clears throat> Princess Pepperman. I present to you the Prince Chowder. Greetings, beautiful princess. I do believe that destiny has brought us together. For I'm looking for a princess to help me run my kingdom and be my true equal. Equal to what? My equal. I mean, equality, lovely buddy. Buttercup, one plus one equals love. I didn't know there was going to be any math on this date. If I'd have known there was going to be a math quiz, I would have like, uh, uh, like, like studied in some, or something. Uh, why don't you just go back to your genius kingdom with your fancy words and um, mathematics? Just, just go be my smarty pants by yourself. Well, no, no, get out. Yeah. Serves him right, thinking he's all better than me and stuff. <laughs> well, that didn't go very well. Darling, we can't give up. <sighs> Marrying off the children did not work. So, since it seemed like they would be stuck with their children forever, they decided to educate them. I Although this rarely worked. I present to you the Royal Teachers. We are here to teach, to train, to discipline, and to educate. We will turn these children into proper princesses and princes. Because at the core, 
It is all about the children. Yes, every child, no excuses. Whatever it takes. A proper princess would be called upon to sing the ballad of our kingdom. It is our kingdom's most prized and precious song. So let us practice. I will sing it first, and you can follow. No, 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 no. I am like a really awesome singer. So I'll totally just do it on my own. As you wish, Johannes. Proceed when you are ready. <clears throat> Our kingdom is so porcupine. Here the sun shall always wine. With stone castles wrong and high. Our flags they touch the pie. Our kingdom is obscure. One can hear stop, the stop, angels stop, cry. Stop! 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 You're singing, no, you're screeching all the lines incorrectly. Our kingdom is so divine, it is not a porcupine. Here, the sun shall always shine, not wine. And our castles are strong, they are not wrong. Our, our flags, they touch the sky, they do not touch pie. And lastly, our kingdom will endure, it is not obscure. This lesson is over. <laughs> All princes must know how to defend the kingdom. Today's lesson will be on the use of a shield. Now, a shield can be a very valuable weapon. It can Stop looking at the reflection of yourself in the shield. Why? Are you jealous? Let us continue. Now, the first technique is... Please, I beg of you, pay attention! What? What'd you say? As I was explaining, you hold the shield like this. Now watch while I demonstrate some techniques. You will use the shield to block arrows, or counter sword attacks, or sometimes even block the fire of fire-breathing dragon. Wait, where'd the princes go? And who are you? Uh, we're members of the stage crew. I'm Allison, and this is Andrew. I do the costumes? I do the lights. Enough. Remove yourselves before I throw you into the royal dungeon. All proper princesses need to know proper etiquette. So let us practice now by sipping some tea. Princess Simon, you are first. <gasps> It could use more sugar. They're, they're monsters. Yes, simply dreadful creatures. Just like the royal therapist and the suitors before them, the royal teachers fled the castle and were never to be seen again. The king and queen were devastated. Peace quiet, and happiness were a distant dream. Ah, I can't seem to finish this jigsaw puzzle! Pick that up! That's because you bought the puzzle for seven-year-olds. Mother, there's nothing good to eat in the royal refrigerator. We just had it filled yesterday. Princess Cinnamon, give me that back. I'm telling. Mother! I too am struggling with this bonsai tree. There are just too many distractions. 
distractions in this castle. Ugh. There's nothing good to watch on the Royal 20 foot AK HD OLED HDR 20 foot flat screen TV. I'm bored. You're a loser. Brother dude, that's way uncool. Everyone just please try to get along. Mother! Look what Cinnamon did to my dress. Mother, look at what Peppermint did to the royal flowers and to the poor royal teddy. The mystical and mysterious fairies have returned to our story. We are here with the magic pixie dust, ready to see action and bring a new twist to our tale. I still don't know how I got stuck with the fairy part. <gasps> the king and queen, they're so sad. They need our help. We will leave this book of fairy tales as a guide. How is this book going to help? Watch and wonder and see how a book can change one's destiny. Queen continued to ponder what to do about their difficult children. They hoped for a miracle. We must do something to fix this family. Yes, we need some kind of miracle. The plot will change once the Queen finds the book. I am so excited, it's almost hard to look. I still don't see how this fairy tale book is going to help the King and Queen. The, the, the book? It's supposed to be in the play. What are we gonna do? Don't worry, I can totally fix this. Just give me some of that magic potato dust, I'll freeze everyone. Put them back, problem solved. It's pixie dust, and we're out. This story is a tragedy without a doubt. Uh, okay, let me think. I've got it. I'll sneak into the castle, place the fairy tale book by the queen, and be back before you know. Oh, brave fairy. Would you do this? It would be wonderful, but you have to be careful. For it's very dangerous for a fairy to enter a story, especially without pixie dust. No problem. Let me write a down. Okay, I'll do it. But the narrator has to read his introduction for me. I wrote it myself. Certainly. Whatever All of a sudden, a brave, magical, and not very feminine fairy entered our tale. She was so strong, she was a cross between a roller derby player and a United States Marine. Her top secret mission was to place the fairy tale book next to the queen without being detected. What is that? It's a giant, disgusting bug. Kill it! Oh, 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 The king and queen were mesmerized by the fairy tale book. They read page after page with great excitement, for the stories in these tales depicted brave princes, courageous and good hearted princesses, and most of all, happy endings. These were the kind of stories the king and queen wished to be in, and they now were determined to change the destiny of their royal family. We should be like one of these fairy tale families. Yes, dear. That's exactly what I was thinking. Who is she? This is Snow White. I'm way prettier than Snow White. And why is she hanging out with all those short little bearded guys? Duster's wrong. 
The king and queen loved these stories. They depicted the lives they dreamed of, the lives they were now determined to have. Who is that dude? Uh, this dude is a brave prince rescuing a princess. He has traveled a great distance on horseback, fought a ferocious beast, and scaled a great wall to free his true love. Maybe you could do something like this? Nah. Sounds like a lot of work. Hey, do we have any royal cookies left? Uh, go away. Okay, but it's not like it's a crime for a prince to want a little snack. The king and queen continued to read page after page. Then they noticed a common theme. In these stories, there is unhappiness, but then some kind of magic or spell is used to help bring about happiness. Yes, it's the magic that makes it all better. The, the Royal, Royal Magic, Magic Mirror. Mirror! We must consult the Royal Magic Mirror. Servants, bring in the Royal Magic Mirror. I present to you the Royal Magic Mirror. We, uh, we just need to spray the glass first. Magic mirror that never fails. Tell me, are you familiar with fairy tales? Why, yes, I am. I don't believe my cousin even played in one of them. However, her negative attitude reflects poorly on our family. Get, get it? We're mirrors, and I say she reflects poorly on our family. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, come on. Mirror, please be serious. In today's serious business news, the Dow Jones Industrial Average increases by 1.3% helping to recover previous losses in the private sector in other serious Oh, methods. would you stop that? Magic Mirror, are you capable of the magic that's in these fairy tales? No, I am not. I mainly specialize in, you know, card tricks and attempts at predicting the weather. For that kind of magic, you need the fairy godmother. Yes! How do I get in contact with this fairy godmother? Sky above, ground below, I must tell you, I don't know. What exactly are you good for? Oh, wow. What a great mirror. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> mirror, can you give us any advice on how to contact this fairy godmother? Gaze upon the royal sofa and you shall find the one with knowledge to fill your mind. Are you serious? The royal children? Mm -hmm. Knowledge? Mm -hmm. You're a worse magic mirror than I thought. Psst, no, use Prince Lagos' royal smartphone to help bring the gay lady, the fairy god lady to your home. Oh, very clever, Mir. Very clever. Give me that! I can't believe you are always wasting your time playing this foolish game. What exactly is it, anyway? It's called Angry Peasants. See, you pull back the little slingshot and launch the Angry Peasants at the towers filled with mean goats. That is ridiculous. But also, oh so addictive! Look, I hit a tower! You did it, my dear! Now if I can just knock that second tower down, then I'll get the last of those pesky little goats. Wait a minute. A queen should not be playing such a low brow game. At least, not until I get backstage. Now, help me use this thing to contact the fairy godmother. So, Prince Flacker helped his parents contact the fairy godmother. Before they could say bippy boppy boo, she'd arrive. Hey man, it's my turn. Would you give it? No, yes. it's my job. <laughs> ah! Do it. 
present to you Miss Fairy Godmother. <laughs> I've been practicing. Give me the horn. Does someone need a little magic? Do you desire a wish, a spell, or a potion? If so, you need not look for another, for I am the one and the only fairy godmother. I'm so happy you came! We want to make our family like the family in these fairy tales. Can you do that? Your Highness, fairy tales are what I do. I am the top fairy tale contractor in the business. But from the looks of this family, this is going to be a big job. I've heard enough of this. See ya, fairy lady. Yeah, we don't have to sit around here and listen to you Compliment <laughs> Come here, magic mirror. I've got a few nose hairs that need trimming. Actually, uh, I, I wanted to hang out here a while longer. Get it? M mirror? Hang? Hanging in mirror? <laughs> oh! I crack myself up every time. Wait, 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 wait. Crack. M mirror. Crack mirror! Oh, I just don't know what's this stage. Hey, where's everyone going? Wait for me. Like I was saying, this is going to be a big job. A big job? How big a job? Well, first you're going to need to check with the Royal City Hall to see if this area is even zoned for fairy tales. Then you're going to need permits. Permits? Why, yes, of course. You don't think you can just do a fairy tale without permits, do you? And a job this size? There are going to be a lot of materials. Okay, royal servants, take this down. We are going to need three jars of butterfly sweat. Excuse me, the pencil bulk. Seven petals from a rainbow flower. A dozen bags of stardust. A large carriage with a team of unicorns. A magic flute. Three bottles of mermaid breath. 52 five-leafed clovers. And the list went on and on and on. Three crystals from the Grim Valley and one enchanted... What are you doing? Oh, um, oh. I am very sorry, my pencil bow, after you said three jars of butterfly sweat. Give me that. Here is your grand total. This is what your happily ever after fairy tale will cost. Wow, that sure is a big number. I'm not sure I've ever seen so many zeros. That's a little more than we had in mind. Well, that's just your first payment. But we should be able to start three weeks from Thursday. And if the weather holds, we should be able to finish in about Eleven months. Eleven months? To complete one fairy tale? Oh, what about the audience? I don't know if they'll stay around much longer, let alone eleven months. You're trying to make this audience stay? I do magic, not miracles. Give me a call if you change your mind. Toodaloo. The king and queen were devastated. Happiness had been within their grasp, but was now as far away as yesterday's sunset. So, the king did what all depressed kings do. I can't take it anymore! I'm going golfing! And the queen did what all depressed queens do. 
She grabbed a bag of royal chips, sat on the royal sofa, and watched the royal 20-foot flat screen TV. It was on the third bag of royal chips that an advertisement came on that renewed her hopes. Here at Enchanted Depot, Happily Ever After is on every show, down every aisle. We offer nothing but the best spells, potions, and magic for all your fairy tale needs. Need a frog turned into a prince? Mwah! We got a potion for that. You just fit some straw into gold? Not a problem. Our specially trained Enchanted Depot staff is ready to meet all your do it yourself fairy tale needs. Just send us your order via Enchanted Paper Airplane, and I'll be ready for you to pick up. We bring Happily Ever After to all your stories. So we'll see you at Enchanted Depot. That's it! We'll get supplies at Enchanted Depot and make our own fairy tale. The queen grabbed a piece of purple parchment off the table and wrote down everything that she would need from Enchanted Depot. Then she summoned the page named Paige. Your Majesty, how may I serve you? Now, Penelope, what I have here is a very important list of items that I need from Enchanted Depot. I need you to go there at once and bring them back to the castle. Yes, Your Majesty, just one minor detail. My name is Paige. Remember, I am the page named Paige. I apologize, Patricia. Mm -hmm. Now, this journey is extremely important to the royal family. I understand, but I'm, oh my God, I am Paige, the page. I knew I could count on you, Penny. Now be off, and may the luck of the kingdom be with you. Excuse me, don't I need the list? No, Peggy. I will be sending this list via Enchanted Airplane. That way, the order will be prepared and waiting for you when you arrive. Now be off, and ride like the wind. Our servants have already fetched you our fastest horse. Thank you. I'll do my best. It's time to send the list. The queen held the enchanted paper airplane up high and carefully aimed. When she thought the time was just right, she released the enchanted airplane. With it, it flew the dreams of the king and queen. It carried with it the idea of happily ever after. It flew over the river and through the woods, all the way back to Enchanted Depot. At Enchanted Depot, the employees, Mo, Poe, and Ro, were hard at work to meet the needs of their do-it-yourself fairy tale customers. A new shipment of the newest witch's brooms just came in. Where should I put them? Great, just place them over there next to the magic carpets. All right. Wow. See, that's a one and a whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. It's almost like these brooms have a mind of their own. Stay. Good. Would you stop playing around over there? Did you order that procrastination spell yet? Not yet, but I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> Welcome to Enchanted Depot. Uh, do you sell magic beans? I'm working on a little fairy tale over by Jack's house. Here you go. Thank you. Now, are you sure these beans will reach the clouds? I personally guarantee it. Just make sure you watch out for the mean, nasty giants if you choose to climb the new stock I'm planting. Oh, I will. You know, there sure have been a lot of customers today. Speaking of customers, have the Enchanted Airplane orders come in yet? Not yet. I think Rose up on the roof catching them right now. Oh. oh. Uh. Lost in shipment. <laughs> um. 
What took you so long? High winds, a few flying dragons. Oh, and about half a dozen paper airplane orders. Well, your break's over. Uh -huh. Let's start putting the orders together. Oh, hi. Welcome to Enchanted Depot. How may Ro help you? Yes. I need a poison apple. Well, not really poison. Just something that would make a prince go to sleep for, let's say, forever. <coughs> I know exactly what you mean. They come in red and green. Which ones are on sale? The red ones. I'll take one red apple. Oh, I have this coupon. Certainly. Here you go. Seriously, who is this? The cheap witch of the West? Here you go. Thank you. That prince is gonna pay. Do you have magic potato dust? Potato dust? Pixie, pixie dust. Do you have magic pixie dust? Yeah. Awesome. I need a refill. You see, I'm in this fairy tale in a faraway kingdom, and that audience looks familiar. <laughs> Thank you. Um. I need to return this lamp. It's defective. Do you have your receipt? Yes. This genie's lamp is worthless. I wouldn't rub it if I were you. She's a little crazy for being locked up in there. That can happen every once in a while. Oh! She poked my eye. Enchanted Depot will gladly give you a new lamp. Don't bother. Instead of a lamp, I'll take one of those smat flying carpets. It'll be perfect for my Arabian fairy tale. Plus, it always makes traveling and traffic a breeze. Here you go. You really should have higher quality standards on your lamps, so. though. I'm sorry. We'll look into that. Just as soon as I can scan on my eye. Good day, Mo, Poe, and Ro. Is my enchanted pumpkin ready? It's right here. Excellent craftsmanship as always. I have to make another carriage for a certain princess, so she'll end up with her loving prince. This little trick has made me a fortune. Toodaloo. It seems like everyone's making princess fairy tales these days. Oh, they sell. Audiences love the poor, helpless princess who is then saved by a brave prince. Oh, help me. I'm a little princess and I'm in danger. Not to fear, my dear princess, for I, the brave prince, will defeat this danger and save you. Yo, you're my hero, Mr. Brave Prince. No, babe. It was nothing. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Uh, that's mwah. ridiculous. Ridiculous. In my fairy tales, I like it when a princess fights her own battles. And sometimes, when necessary, defeats the prince. Excuse me. I didn't dodge that one. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, uh, hi. Welcome to Enchanted Depot. How may I help you? I'm not a princess and I don't need to be rescued, but I do need an order refilled. And this order would be for... Queen Mildred. She said to be an enchanted airplane. Oh, yes. I have it right... Uh, uh, here. Okay. Now let's see. We have one sleeping potion, one Prince of Frog spell, a Rapunzel hair special. Ooh, nice. A bottle of love potion number nine. And, uh. Is there a problem? Uh, 
we seem to be missing the magic lamp. I'll get that for you. Oh, the lamp is actually right here. Nobody? Okay, whatever. Thank you, I appreciate your help. Ma'am, I have your magical lamp. Where'd she go? I think she left. And it looks like she took the broken lamp with her. Oh. That should make for an interesting fairy tale. The page named Paige bravely rode back with the order. She rode over the river and through the woods, all the way back to the castle. Meanwhile, Back at the castle, the queen was going over her plan when the king returned from golfing. Ah! I hate golf. Barnabas, I have an amazing idea. So the queen told the king all about her plan and how she'd ordered supplies from Enchanted Depot. He thought her plan was brilliant. I think that's brilliant. Thank you, Barnabas. But I do have one question for you. What is it? My king, my king, my charming, handsome king, my love, I missed you all so much today for golfing, took you far, far away. My song is almost done. Did you score a hole in one? Why are you singing? I read, I read this glorious book today. It said, these tales are often musicals. It's true, you'll see, if you just take a look, all of the characters sing all their lines. Sometimes they will sing them tragically, other times comically, ha 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 ha, mostly dramatically, but always very, 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 very beautifully. <laughs> really? Yes, and there's often dancing too. And if you like that- I don't. Well, look what I taught the royal servants to do. Stop. My dear, our fairy tale is not a musical. And as far as I can tell, I don't foresee any dancing in it. Oh, you're no fun. Oh, I thought this was our big break. Me too. I may be your royal servant. But I'm a dancer at heart. Uh, okay. The page, named Paige, returned with the order. Patsy, you have returned. Here are your supplies, Your Majesty. I will not stop for three days and three nights. Pam, I can't thank you enough. The entire royal family deeply appreciates all that you've done. And at this moment, all I can say is, <coughs> you stink. Three days and three nights on horseback, and now you smell a little ripe. I think it's time you go take a royal shower. It's not me. Look. Oh. <laughs> Pam? Padme? Paisley? What happened? Oh. I guess it was me. I promised to use lots of royal soap. <laughs> the king and queen placed all of their do it yourself fairy tale supplies out on the table. The queen flipped through the fairy tale book a few more times and double checked her plans. It 
It looks like everything is perfect. I know this will work. Dear, tell me one more time how it will happen. The magic on this table will help us create our dream fairy tale. First, Princess Cinnamon will drink this blue Sweet Dreams potion. It will make her fall asleep for a long, long time. That is, until out of the blue, her true love will come to the castle and wake her with a kiss. After that, she will move out, and we will live happily ever after. I love it. This one's a little trickier, but it seemed to work very well in the fairy tale book. Now, Princess Peppermint will drink this golden Rapunzel hair special, and within a short time, her hair will grow very, very, very long. We are then to lock her in a 200-foot tall tower with no way out. That sounds good to me. No, 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 there's more. Eventually, according to this book, a prince will find her, scale the tower using her hair, and rescue Princess Peppermint. They will then get married, and once again, we will live happily ever after. You are amazing. Now, for Prince Hair Gel, the Green Kermit cocktail is for him. It will turn him into a frog. We are then to place him in the pond out back. And the book says a princess will find him, kiss him, and turn him back into a prince. They will leave together and, you guessed it, we will live happily ever after. This just keeps getting better and better. What about the other one? Prince Slacker is the easiest one. That's appropriate. He simply needs to rub this magic lamp three times. A genie will then appear and grant him three wishes. We'll make sure at least one of those wishes is a princess to fall in love with Prince Slacker. The genie is going to make a princess fall in love with Prince Slacker? That must be some powerful magic. Yes, it is. And just to be safe, I bought a love potion. After just one sip, it will cause anyone to fall madly in love with the first person he or she sees. So your wonderful wife has thought of everything. This does seem like a great plan, but don't you think it's unnecessarily complicated? That's how fairy tales work. And besides, what could possibly go wrong? That was the plan. That was how it was supposed to happen. But we all know that things rarely go the way we plan them to. This is true for you, this is true for me, and this is especially true for King Barnabas and Queen Mildred. Now, let me tell you what actually happened. It's time to start our fairy tale! Oh, I'm so excited to live happily ever after! Now, how do fairy tales begin? With that famous grand line, I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down! No? I've got it! There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Not even close? This is how fairy tales begin. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. That one doesn't sound quite right either. I've got it! Once upon a time. That's how fairy tales begin. Once upon a time, there were two princesses and two princes. Welcome, children. Please, sit down. What do you want now? We have some exciting news. How long is this going to take? We are going to make our very own fairy tale! Like, do I look like I want to be Little Red Riding Hood or something? I think not. You must follow our instructions very carefully. Let's see. This is the stupidest idea yet. I mean, who wants to be in some fairy tale? Princess Cinnamon, please don't touch that. Why not? I'll do whatever I want. Hey, this tastes pretty good. You drank the wrong potion. She drank the love potion. That means Princess Cinnamon will fall madly in love with the first person she sees. Quick, cover her eyes. Too late. You, come here. Me? Yes, you. 
OK. What's your name? Eddie. The gallant and handsome Prince Eddie! No, my name's just Eddie. And I'm not a prince. I'm actually a plumber. Well, what brings you to the kingdom, Eddie the plumber? I came to see this play. It's got a pretty catchy title, so I thought it might be good. Did you travel here on your noble white steed? No. I drove my old blue Hyundai. I actually live in an apartment in Hoboken, New Jersey. Mom. I love him! Come, Eddie. We're going to get married. Married? Yes, married. Huh. Oh, my. What have we done? I need a glass of water. Oh. No worries, Mother. There's some right here. This is good, but it's not water. Oh no, it's sleeping potion. At least I didn't finish the whole bottle. Yeah, she only drank like two halves of it. I know, I'll have the magic lamp. A genie will appear and help us fix everything. Oh, powerful genie, please appear. Genie. Help us! I wish that we all lived happily ever after! Ugh! Oh! No! 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 No more wishes, you idiot! No more castles or riches or making people fall in love! Ugh! Why are people always asking me for things? Nobody ever asks me what I want! Well, do you know what I want? Do you? I want people to stop asking me for what they want! Being a genius is a thankless job. I quit. A woman who doesn't want to do anything is tired of helping other people and just wants to be left alone? <laughs> I think I'm in love. Oh, beautiful genie. Why is Prince Slacker chasing a genie? Dear, you're awake. Will you see? We can still make this work. We can still have happily ever after. Now, Princess Peppermint and Prince Hair Gel, please drink your potions. Up. Princess Peppermint, you get the orange one, and Prince Hair Gel, you get the green one. Green one? Green one. And I better check your mother's notes. Yours is green. Ah, I like green better. I bet it tastes like mint candy. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you fool. You cannot have this green potion of mine. Look over there. Is that a giant troll like totally eating your royal hair dryer? Oh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you fool. Uh, so immature. You know what? I like this one better anyways. I like the way it glows, all golden. OK, time to drink up and be happily ever after. Wait a minute. You mixed up the potions. Oh, I, <laughs> I feel, I feel strange. <laughs> Mildred. Please wake up. Things are getting a bit out of hand. I command you as your king. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Please wake up. Prince Hedja, I have received Stop a message. Stop right there. It's Harjul, OK? Say it with me. Harjul. Spell it out. H-A-I. <laughs> Just go away. Go away at once. Uh, why'd they spell my name like that? Ribbit. The princess is now a frog! Ribbit. Ribbit. I can't believe Ribbit. you were going to turn me into a frog! 
How was that going to help me? Frogs don't even have hair! <laughs> well, speaking of hair, you just drank your sister's potion. Right, it's the Rapunzel special. I'm sorry to say it, but you might want to look in the mirror in about 30 seconds. I must find a mirror! This is a complete disaster! And my final point is that we should... I'm gonna call the Enchanted Depot customer service number! So, the king grabbed Prince Slacker's smartphone, which had conveniently been left on the couch, and called the customer service. Greetings, and welcome to the Enchanted Depot customer service line. Your call is important to us, so please listen to the following options. Para hablar en español, presear uno. If thou speakest in old English, press it two. For any problem with a defective flying broom, press three. If a dragon you purchased refuses to eat peasants, press four. For any questions regarding crystal balls or magic wands, press five. And if you are a king whose attempt at a fairy tale has gone terribly wrong, press six. Wow, that was strangely specific. I'll press six. So, the king explained his problems to the customer service representative. That does sound like a problem, so let me get this straight. One daughter is in love with a plumber from Hoboken. The other is now a frog. Your wife drank a sleeping potion. One son is chasing a crazy genie. And the other drank a Rapunzel special? That about sums it up. Please help! Tell you what I'll do. I'll send her a top repair fairy. Her name's Glitterbell. She travels fast. They waited, and soon she arrived. I present to you the fairy Glitterbell. <laughs> Glitterbell, thank you for coming. Do you think you could help? <laughs> you do? Great. <laughs> Ribbit. Princess Peppermint, you ain't the repair fairy! Ribbit. Ribbit. Bad Froggy! Bad Froggy! Ribbit. Or bad Ribbit. Princess <laughs> Froggy. Now what are we going to do? Yes, what are we going to do about this? I don't think this is acceptable for a prince. I look like a Wookiee. Actually, I kind of like it. <laughs> the king was devastated. He flipped through the fairy tale book, wishing things had gone better. Then he had an idea. <gasps> I know! I think I'll order takeout tonight. I could really go for some fried rice and egg rolls. Then he had an idea that was actually relevant to the story. I could consult the royal magic mirror! The king called for the royal magic mirror to be brought to him immediately. Mirror, mirror, who looks like he's wearing a dress. What can I do to fix this mess? Really, that's, that's the best round you could come up with, man? Oh. Well, to answer your question, on top of that far, far away mountain, there grows a flower that blooms once a year that holds a magical nectar that can undo all of these spells. However, the flowers guarded by not one, not two, not four, but three fire-breathing dragons. You will need to send your most courageous knight on an epic journey to retrieve it. Stop chasing me! I just want to be left alone! Tell me free! Magic Mirror! Did you say you were looking for the greatest warrior to go on an epic journey? Why, yes, I did. Are you willing to go on this epic journey? 
Don't look at me. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Oh, beautiful genie, come back! That does sound extremely difficult. Is there another way? Let me think. Hmm. Oh, yeah. You could also, uh, you know, read the instructions that came with the potion. The instructions? Ah, yes. Section 27A. How to undo all spells. Okay. Let's see. It reads, repeat this line. Powers of goodness come to me and set my family free. Then it says to clap once and spin. Magic Mirror, why isn't anything happening? Oh, wise king, turn this page. The spell continues. Oh, this is rather involved. Just follow the instructions. So it says I need to snap twice, do a pirouette, hop three times on my biggest foot, do a fish impression, Sing Rumpelstiltskin in an operatic voice. <clears throat> Rumpelstiltskin. And finally repeat, powers of goodness come to me and set my family free. As the king said the last words, all the spells were undone. Princess Peppermint was no longer from. Prince Hare, the gel's hair, went back to normal. The queen woke up and the low spells were broken. Wait, 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 wait. I need to stop the story right here. What are you doing? There is no need for any fairy intervention. I stopped the story because we're just right back where we started. The nice king and queen are still stuck with obnoxious bratty children, just like they have been all along. Nothing has been accomplished. Oh, my young fairy friend, you are missing the point. What point? The spells may be broken, but it's the experiences that they had that will change them. And sometimes experience is more powerful than magic. Watch, my friend, as we let the story continue. We will do our enchanted fairy tale dance as we gaze upon the conclusion of our story. I do want to know what happens next, but I'm still not doing the foolish fairy dance. Ooh. Oh, beautiful. What happened? Darling, you drank some of the sleeping potion, but I managed to undo all the spells. I feel great. I think all I needed was a little sleep. Wow, I haven't felt this good since before the children were born. I forgot about the children. I bet they're back to their original charming selves, correct? I'm afraid so. Our attempt at a fairy tale with a happy ending was a complete failure. I'm sure the children are somewhere in the castle right now, fighting or painting graffiti on the royal walls or torturing the royal dragon. Oh, Barnabas, we shouldn't be too hard on ourselves. It was worth a try. And besides, I had such an entertaining dream that Princess Peppermint was a frog. <laughs> well, about that. They were pear fairy, never returned. And they are demanding to speak with you. Oops, I think Princess Peppermint might have eaten her. Send them in. I present to you the angry enchanted depot employee. We want Glitterbell back. This is an outrage. We demand action immediately. I'm sure we can get to the bottom of this. <laughs> Where is Paola, or Padme, or Pillar, or whatever her name is? 
Have you seen Princess Peppermint? No, I have not. You have another <laughs> visitor. No, you, you can't. You can't just come in here and see the king and queen, okay? We, we have a protocol. Besides, besides, I like to do one thing. I have the power to investigate all the fairy tales. Who are you? I'm... Do it. The fairy tale inspector. Queen, King Barnabas, Queen Mildred, you two face some very serious charges. The allegations of you conducting a fairy tale without a permit, illegal spells, and attempting to turn a person into a toad. Well, actually, it was a frog. And we think she's back to normal now. <laughs> Ma'am, you still need a permit from me. Besides that, there are rumors of an unauthorized release of a genie had occurred. In addition, numerous violations that include fairy abuse, subjecting the audience to bad puns, and oh my, the blatant use of false rhymes? And that's just my, my first page. None of this is answering the question of where Glitterbell is. I bet they have her locked up. We need to go look for her, guys. Hey, that bug is back. I I'm not a bug, I'm a... I'm a fairy. And I was hoping to get a few of the mm. royal cookies. A fairy? Aren't you a little large to be a fairy? I'm just a big bug bear. Maybe she ate Glitter Bell. No, my daughter the frog ate Glitter Bell. Stop eating those cookies! Get back here! What do you mean your daughter ate Glitter Bell? I need some answers and I need them now! Everyone started arguing. It was a terrible scene. Pure royal chaos. Until the page named Paige noticed something. Just stop arguing already. Look, they look happy. And then you finish attaching the pipes, you turn on the gas, and voila. That is how you install a high efficiency water heater. I just love it when you talk about plumbing. Tell me that shower fixture story again. And look over there, they look happy too. I was so claustrophobic in that lamp. It was like the walls were closing in on me. I just couldn't wait to get out, be free, and experience the world for myself. You totally complete me. What is this? I think they might be in love. And I think they're in love too. Princess Cinnamon, Prince Locker, come here. Please explain to us what is going on. Mom, Dad, I have some big news. Well, I have some big news too. My brother, please, share your news. No, sister. You might go first. My lovely brother, I yield the honor to you. No, sister. It's common courtesy that I should let you go first. This is almost as annoying as when they were fighting. Princess Cinnamon, you start. Well, if you insist. My news is that Eddie and I are getting married. I'm going to be a plumber's wife. Sister. That is my news, too. You're also going to be a plumber's wife? Yeah! Wait, no! Jeannie and I are going to get married. What wonderful news. We shall have a double wedding. Are you sure the spell wore off? I think so. Yes, Father. This is the real thing. Once I saw the kindness in Eddie's heart, and he gave me a ride in his Hyundai, I just knew I had to make him mine. Plus, you've got to hear him talk about plumbing. It's fascinating. For me, Jeannie and I just connected. Jeannie is tired of working for others and granting everyone else's wishes. She just wants to hang out and be free. That's exactly what I've been looking for in a girl. Aw, you're so sweet to understand me. Brother, Jeannie, and darling Eddie, let's go plan this royal double wedding. Wait! You all forgot about me, the fairy tale inspector and all of these charges. Oh, 
Oh, who am I kidding? I can't get in the way of love. And if you are interested, I do have a license to preside over weddings. Yes, our new friend, please join us. Your Majesty, I believe there are more unexpected changes in this castle. Look, what's this? Princess Peppermint, what on earth are you doing? Oh, hi, Father. I'm sorry, I was just lost in thought. <gasps> you had a thought? Yes. Being a frog gave me a lot of time to think. And I realized I like to think. And once I started thinking, I, I just couldn't stop. I have so many ideas about how to improve the kingdom. This is a drawing of a solar-powered drawbridge for the royal moat. And this is a sketch of a mathematical formula to improve the accuracy of our catapults. I just love thinking. Father, I must learn more. That is why I am going to attend the Royal University and study advanced mathematics and engineering. That's wonderful. The only issue is that ever since I was a frog, I've had a terrible stomach ache. Call the royal doctor. My brilliant daughter is sick. Oh, oh I, I really don't feel very good. safe in here. I am so sorry about Glitterbell. Why don't we take her outside so she can get some fresh air? Good idea. And what has become my other son, Prince Hairgel? One thing hasn't changed. I still have fabulous hair. But that spell did make me temporarily Look hideous. So, I was given a glimpse into how you all must feel every day. <laughs> With that in mind, I've decided to share my gift of unbelievable handsomeness and put a little of it in a jar. I would like to introduce to you Prince Hargel's hair gel. Just place a dab of it in your hair and unleash your inner Prince Charming. As a sample and a service to the kingdom, I've already applied some of Prince Hargel's hair gel to the royal servants. Prince Hargel's hair gel. Unleash your inner Prince Charming. <laughs> Don't they just look phenomenal? Well, it is a unique look. Yes, unique is a good word choice. I will be selling Prince Hargel's hair gel at my new royal hair salon on the far side of the kingdom. Unfortunately, I will have to move out and in a nearby castle. Well, goodbye parents. I will see you during the royal holidays. He's moving out! This is wonderful! I still don't understand. How did everything work out? Your Majesty, if I may be so bold to answer that question. Pandora, please do! Uh. It wasn't the magic that changed your children, it was the experiences that they had. You are very wise. How do you know this? I use the power of observation and between the scenes, I looked at the narrator's notes. Oh, I never noticed we had a narrator. My, how rude of us. Narrator, would you like to come in for some tea? Oh, no, no thank you. So the king continued to praise the page named Paige. You have the kind of good judgment, work ethic, and keen listening skills needed to be a leader. 
I'm promoting you to head of the royal army. You are no longer a page named Paige. You are now a knight named Paige. One second. Thank you, Your Majesty. The king and queen were alone at last, and they smiled. In the months and years to come, they enjoyed peace and quiet in their castle. My queen, here is your bonsai tree. My king, here is your jigsaw puzzle. <gasps> Look, dear, I finished my puzzle. Oh, well, I'll be a jester in a tutu. It's a cat hanging from a tree branch, and it reads, Hang in there, baby. Oh, that's so clever and funny. And I do believe I finished my bonsai tree. Oh, the joys of a quiet castle. Just a wise king. And a brilliant queen. Ruling together in peace and quiet. Surprisingly, they also enjoyed their children and relished in their accomplishments. Princess Peppermint graduated from the Royal University. I'm humbled to be your valedictorian, and I pledge my future to the pursuit of knowledge and the greater good of our kingdom. That's our daughter. Prince Hairgel's hair gel made him one of the most successful entrepreneurs in the kingdom. I might just be one of the most successful entrepreneurs, but I'm definitely the best looking. Most importantly, he only rarely graced the castle with his presence. And of course, there was a royal double wedding. I now pronounce you husband and wife, and husband and genie. You may now kiss the bride. This tale is filled with twists and unexpected conclusions. Yes, happily ever after sometimes comes in mysterious ways. And sometimes, happily ever after, it's just a pitiful existence. A farewell message to all our fellow travelers. If you are ever to visit this kingdom again, keep your eyes wide open, for you just might see a princess who's a brilliant mathematician, another princess who's married to a cute plumber named Eddie, a dashing prince, styling hair, another prince married to a very special genie, a knight named Paige leading a kingdom's army, a queen trimming a bonsai tree, and a king working on a jigsaw puzzle. But they all had one thing in common. They all lived happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs>